This new program is called Audio Test, and we did not buy it, so we're going to hit not yet. But basically, what we can control here is we can control a sweep from whatever amount of parts we want to whatever we want. So let's try going from 20 to 2,000, which is, uh, or wait, sorry, 20,000, which is the, uh, the limits of frequency. Oh, no. So we are try and see what happens. And we're going to do it over a time level of approximately 40 seconds. And over these 40 seconds, we're going to hear all the possible frequencies from 20 to the high end of our thing, which is 20,000. And Sick. we're going to see what's happening. And in the meantime, hopefully Luke will be watching the soundboard to make sure we don't blow up the speakers. True story. Okay, this is before our sweeping test, and right now I'm pretty damn disoriented. I've got foggy goggles on, and I've got a red and a green strobe lights pointed at my face. Why do we have the strobe lights on? Because you can't have sound without lights, man. It's rock and roll. All right, true rock story. And roll. Hit it. Hit the. You're not allowed to say that. Hit this. That, that that felt pretty bad, that yeah, hole. I even, I even had ear protection on, and you'd start low, you could feel the air coming off the subwoofers, and then your skin would start to tingle, and then I could feel my whole chest and body vibrating. Yes, the speaker is impregnated me, I'm pretty sure. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm yeah. not, I have a headache right now, actually. So, uh, if we were to drastically increase the intensity, you think that that would probably not feel good? Yeah. Yeah, no, that would not feel good. Right. I mean, maybe Probably we could in, <laughs> maybe we could induce vomit uh, of an enemy if we were to blast them with enough sound. Oh, I'm sure. Shall we try me next? Just to see if it's a constant result. Yeah, let's get John in here. Rock, yeah. rock. Ready? Rock. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's hit it. got into my soul. How was that? Well, with the lower frequencies, you can feel the vibrations a lot more in this area, but that explains because, you know, the speakers are right there. And then as we went to the middle, I felt a tightness around my chest because it was vibrating and it was also higher up on me, it seemed. And it just did not feel good. And the more higher it got, it felt like the higher it got on my body, too. With those really high-pitched frequencies in the end, it just... It's like someone's scratching at the back of your head. It's just not a good feeling. And I'm feeling like Zach right now. All right, so John and I, about the middle range of this, probably about 1,000 hertz, felt a tightness in the chest. There's this pressure flowing back and forth. So we're going to slow down. Uh, what? We're going to slow down the sweep over 100 seconds instead of 40, so you know, we can isolate the feeling on Joel. Um, you can probably hear a lot of background noise. There's a couple snare drums that you can hear them vibrating. You can also hear the ceiling tiles vibrating on the racks. So this is pretty, uh, pretty intense. Let's get the strobe lights going. Joel, so, so don't. Yeah, you like that, Joel, don't you? You like mm. that? Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Joel, how are the lights before we even go with the sound? Go, go. Oh, you like that double? Joel, how are the lights right now? The lights are disorienting. Disorienting by, by all definitions. The go. camera can't even focus on you because it's like that. Oh yeah. Oh. Keep talking to us, man. How you feeling? Alright, so you can feel the you can feel the jiggle early on. Not gonna lie. Right in the right in the gut. 
you feel the vibrations. It doesn't really hurt, but uh, yeah. So the vibrations are starting to pick up as we go to higher frequency. Yeah, now it's like now it's just like constant shaking. Uh, now it's like in my chest. kind of uh, to the lower core and then it moves slowly up to your chest and right now it's kind of focused right in my right in my head and it, it hurt right until now the sound just disappeared so over the bigger sweep we can tell that Joel's not as affected as we were by this and we're gonna try to focus in on the middle range where both John and I and Joel were feeling the tightness and the pressure in the chest so the range we're gonna do right now we're gonna go from 750 Hertz we're gonna start there and we're gonna go to 1500 Hertz over 40 seconds strobe on strobe on yeah blast blast me all right we're gonna hit right. Joel the lights are just three killer two one oh. impossible to uh, concentrate on anything it kind of like clouds your head I imagine that if we were to do this on an opponent it would uh, distract them and make it impossible for them to communicate with each other It'd be extremely disorienting uh, I, it might it would be definitely be an effective diversion uh, and it could help save lives could help save lives could help save lives